St. Bart's is a land of jet-setters and francophone eateries, haute cuisine and swish fine dining joints set to the sounds of the lapping Caribbean Sea. It's a place of rugged cliffs and hidden stretches of postcard perfect sand, where yachters, illusters, and naturists coalesce between the coves and the dunes. It's a place of bubbling beach clubs touting pina coladas and potent rum punches, shimmering whitewashed cruise ships, and hotels that take the meaning of luxury to all new and dizzying heights. Today we share the top 10 best things to do in St. Bart so you can plan a trip and experience all the exciting attractions and activities this beautiful city has to offer. Starting with number 10, Gustavia. Gustavia, St. Bart's capital, is a small harbor town and the best place for shopping in St. Bart's. Chic boutiques, duty-free shops, and art galleries line the streets, luring passengers disembarking from the many cruise ships that call here. Foodies will also love tasting their way around Gustavia. Gourmet Street Bart's restaurants serve mouth-watering French-inspired cuisine, from crepes to croissants and succulent, fresh seafood. At number 9 is the Shell Beach. Shell Beach is one of the top tourist attractions on St. Bart's. Whether you're a budding photographer hoping to snap a few unforgettable pics, or a parent looking to occupy your kids, you're in for a treat at this pretty beach in St. Bart's. Shell Beach is just a five-minute walk from the heart of Gustavia. It lies at the base of a rocky cove, and its unique beauty is enchanting. At number 8, St. Jean Beach. St. Jean Beach, a picturesque crescent of white sand, offers excellent swimming and a natural coral reef. Shared by locals and day-trippers from nearby St. Martin, it's an ideal location for parents with children. Several water sports centers rent snorkel gear, surfboards, windsurfers, and other beach toys. The chic Nikki Beach St. Barth restaurant also lies along the stretch, with white sun beds lined up along the sand. The beach is split in two by Eden Rock St. Barth's, a luxury hotel perched on a sea promontory. At number 7, Columbia Beach. Sometimes beauty comes at a price, and that's the case with Columbia Beach. This unspoiled slice of soft white sand and translucent waters at the island's tip is only accessible by boat or a half-hour hike down a goat path. This is a goat path, and you might encounter some of these curious animals, as well as iguanas and tortoises, as you hike to the shore. But it's worth the effort. This beach is one of the island's most beautiful and least crowded. At number 6 in our list, Saline Beach. Along the island's southern coast, secluded Saline Beach is one of St. Bart's most beautiful stretches of sand and sea. It's also one of the best beaches in the Caribbean. From the parking area, you walk up and over the hill to reach this protected cove, and once you emerge from the dunes, the water beckons in shades of turquoise, teal, and cobalt blue. At number 5, Gouverneur Beach. Just around the rocky headlands from the Grande above Saline Beach, this gorgeous little arc of ivory-white Caribbean sand is another contender for the most beautiful coastal spot in St. Bart's. The beach lies at the end of a little inlet on the south shore, glowing like a magnesium strip under the sun and augmented by the Greek-blue shallows, patched with the occasional shadowy coral bed below. At number 4, Loria.
On the north coast, not far from St. Jean, the charming village of Oria is the site of the island's first French settlement. Today, the top things to see include a 19th-century Catholic church, a few shops, and a fantastic surf beach. Built of local stone cut to size by women, the Loria Church uses conch shells as holy water basins. At number 3 in our list, Corisol. Corisol is a tiny two-street fishing village along the island's western shores that exudes a quintessential Caribbean feel. If you're looking for an authentic slice of local life, driving to this sleepy village is worth it. Corisol is sometimes called the Straw Village, due to the women from established island families who create straw hats and crafts from palm fronds. At number 2, Flamon's Beach. Considered one of the most extensive beaches on St. Bart's, Flamon's is home to the luscious white sand most vacationers dream of when planning a trip to the island. Nestled on the northwest tip of St. Bart's, Flamon's Beach sits along on St. Flamon's, offering a more expansive shore than St. John. Thanks to the consistent waves, it's also a popular spot for boogie boarding and body surfing. Check out the number one places in our list. Grand Cul-de-Sac Beach. The shallow, protected waters of Grand Cul-de-Sac Beach offer ideal conditions for water sports, including paddleboarding, kayaking, windsurfing, and kite surfing. Since its reef-protected waters are warm and calm, this beach is a favorite among families and snorkelers who love to observe the sea turtles that swim in its waters. As with other famous shorelines on St. Bart's, there are also a variety of luxury hotels like Lou Sereno Hotel and Lou Bertolomé Hotel and Spa that sit within walking distance of the beach and house delicious eateries. Now it's time to hear from you what's your favorite things to do in St. Bart's. Is there something we missed? Let us know in the comment section below and don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to Greenable if you haven't already clicked the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.